Hey, hey, everybody, RV enthusiast here. Nice seeing you again. Today, we are unboxing the Hay Bike Brawn. So, I've already took the five straps. They put five straps across here. The box cap was open. It was already uh, peeled apart, but they had five straps on it. We're going to take it apart. We're going to give it a uh, quick review. This bike was given to me because they want me to do some maintenance uh, projects on it. So, um, We'll get started with that, I think, after we do the review. Now, they have requested a, a, a quicker video, a more urgent video, and I don't know if that'll come before the review or after the review. So, uh, let's get started unboxing anyway. I'm gonna turn it around so you can see the other side of the box. Yeah, so I wanted you to see this side of the box because of this hay bike here. I'm gonna cut this circle out and I'll use this as one of my decorations on the wall. Yeah. All right, let's get to unboxing. As usual, they come nicely packed. I have learned on my, uh, 20 something other unboxings is uh, not to talk much during the unboxing and get it done. So we'll stop talking. We'll get to some important uh, features on putting it together and then we'll go from there. All right, if you see anything in the bottom of the box that looks like this, this is probably a uh, spacer for your uh, brake. So be careful not to pull the brake uh, handles with a uh, spacer missing, with a uh, spacer removed. Very nice guard for the uh, derailleur. The derailleur has a guard on it, but they even protected the guard with a guard. It's been packaged well, but not over packaged. So that's a good thing, guys. Okay, the only thing I'm gonna leave covered right now is the display. I've been seeing people call this a, uh, a double tree. I thought this was a triple tree, but I could be wrong. So uh, very nice, you got adjustments here, you got adjustment here, very nice. All right, we're gonna take this screw out. Oh, nice, nice hay bike seat. This aluminum fitting, we don't keep. Now, attached to the bike is this, uh, this neck. It was in a piece of uh, foam. All we gotta do is take this, set it on here like so. Try to align to this. You can make this adjustment later as well.
Make sure you're not cross-threading. That's tight. Looked fairly decent to me, the way I have it aligned right there. So then I'll snug these two. And now we'll put the handlebars on. When you buy the brawn, it doesn't come with fenders or a rack or, or basket or anything. Those things can be bought separately. And uh, if you want them, you can order them or, or get them separately. Uh, so I may have, I love the width though. I may switch these out for, I mean, I'm an upright riding kind of guy. These are much more mountain bike style. I may switch these handlebars out for some more upright riding style uh, in a video eventually. And I'll show you how to do that if you're interested. Now start these by hand because again, this is not a place you want to cross thread anything. The good thing about mountain bike handlebars or these low profile is there's not a whole lot of a, a roll to adjust them forward and backwards. A little bit, but not a lot. So you guys will probably see the bulk of the assembly because I think it's kind of one of the things that Haybike does want me to do. Uh, they gave this to me so I can do maintenance tips for you guys. It comes with a shipping bar to keep the forks from uh, bending in or bending out. So we need to take this off. So to take it off, you just put a... Put a wrench in here. I should be able to, after unscrewing this a little bit, kind of unscrew this other side a little bit. So it rolled into the uh, fork very nicely. All right, they do give you the washer with a little hook on it. There is no hole on this, so just put the washer in, put the bolt on. And then we'll repeat on the other side, and then we'll do an adjustment uh, to make sure the tire is uh, even, parallel with the fork. All right, we'll get a 15 millimeter, tighten these up. I'm making sure that my gap here is good. Now we'll tighten this one down. There we go. All right, front wheel's on. 
And there's these two caps that come over here. And they just slip onto the to the nut. They just cover the nut for a beautification. We'll do the same to the other side. Okay, now we're going to put on the pedals. Right one goes on clockwise. Interesting, they give you a little pattern here on this yellow sticker. Just got to get it squared up on it, and then it'll go in. All right now we'll do the left one. Goes counterclockwise. All right, pedals are on. All right, now we're going to put the headlight on. So these pull out. I think, I don't know where I'm going to have that. To the outside, I could have it to the outside or to the inside. I haven't decided yet. Now we've got to put these on. Headlight and horn. <clears throat> so they unscrew like this. Okay? They do unscrew. There you go. Then the other one is right here. So we got the headlight undone, and because I don't have it tightened down, I can move these all I want. So I'm going to hold this here, I'm going to put this on to here. Like so. We'll screw this on. Now we'll do the same to the other side. I put the soft washer on the inside, the hard washer and bolt on the outside. And we'll put it on. Now the reason I think you put the soft one on the inside is because we want it to grip the light in a, at a certain spot. And now we will tighten this up. And this is a six. Kind of place it where you think you want it. You want it a little bit pointed down because if you're riding at night, you don't want this to blind uh, cars coming at you. You can always adjust it more after you get it on. But I think this is a, a very good feature on this bike. Uh, I don't know how bright it is. That really doesn't matter as long as it provides a path for you and you can get another brighter one than this if you want. But just the styling uh, is a, a very nice feature on this bike. All right. So that's tight. And because you have a sponge washer in between, a rubberized washer, this doesn't have to go crazy tight. All right. Now these are Phillips. I'm just going to tighten them down a little bit. Hold this nut with a number 10. It's a nylon nut, so you don't have to worry so much about it coming off. Just a little bit tight, right like so. Do the same down here. Repeat on the other side. One thing I did here in watching someone else's uh, bike is a little bit of negativity on this branded hay bike uh, Velcro fastener that keeps the wires all nice and taut. I don't care what anyone says. It might be an extra step for you to work on things. But that is beautiful. That is the way they all should be. It makes the bike look nice. It gives a little bit of branding. It's great. Great in my opinion. All right, so here's the blue one for the light. And here's the light. Make an alignment. 
push it together. There we have it. All right, so I'm gonna take the battery out. I'm gonna leave this on for now until I get closer to ready to ride, and then we'll tighten this up. Here's the charge port. First time I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna release the battery because I need to take a picture of, uh, of its, uh, the documentation on the battery itself. All right guys, so I got two cameras on. I got the, the 360 looking around. This is the bike. When the battery's in, you have a daylight running light uh, on. I don't necessarily know how to turn the daylight running light off when the battery is plugged in. Um, it may have a timer and go off by itself. I went in the house yesterday and it stayed on for, I don't know, 15 minutes, came back out. I saw it still on. Uh, it's just an outer ring, so a uh, very low power level, but yeah, it's, it's on. And then at night, it's got an auto circuit right here. When this goes dark, when it goes dark in the evening, that turns on. Anyway, this is what the bike looks like out. 750 watt, it's labeled hay bike, but it's probably a Bafang motor. Uh, the Chow Yang tires are a little quieter. Uh, very nice riding uh, position. Everything about this bike looks, on paper, uh, very nice. Um, let me show you how the seat works. All right, on the seat, you just push the button, the seat pops up. Uh, you get on it, you can push it down, and there you have it. They call it a dropper seat. I call it a hopper dropper seat because it hops up and <laughs> drops down. Uh, very nice seat. 
uh, 18 uh, amp hour battery, 45 volt uh, system. Uh, let's get out and ride it. Uh, the light to me is a cool function on this bike. I think that bike has just a mean looking stance. I love it. Uh, it doesn't come with fenders, doesn't come with a rear rack, doesn't come with a front rack or anything like that. Uh, I believe you can you can certainly get them aftermarket um, and I believe you can get fenders and probably a rack uh, from Haybike uh, Marketplace. So let's take it for a ride. Um, also, I'm going to show you a feature that no one else has shown you on this bike that I've seen. And if you look up underneath the thumb throttle, there's a button right here. It says auto. I haven't seen anyone else report that. I believe that is the uh, cruise control. Now, also, you'll notice my display is off to the side here. This is how it was packaged from the factory. I know it goes here. Um, I just haven't put it here yet. I just kind of locked it down a little bit uh, for testing because I need to take it and put it here later. Handlebars are a little narrow to get a, a phone mount in there. These are up high for you so you don't have to reach way down here. So I'm going to lock mine out because I'm mostly road riding. And uh, let's take a first spin. Uh, initially she's very jumpy. Uh, yeah, lots of power. So what we're going to do first, we'll just come down here. We're in our highest PAS level. And we will uh, just throttle down and throttle back. I want to see its top speed uh, down this road. That's the first thing I want to see. Very smooth getting there to speed. Uh, brakes are exceptionally good. And let's just turn around. You can feel it really wants to go. <clears throat> so here we go. Uh, smooth getting off the start. Smooth right off the rip. And we'll go all the way down to the end of the block to see what kind of speed we can get. We're coming past this at 25.6 miles an hour. Yeah, it got to 25 pretty quick. Now we're at 28. Now let's see what it goes. We're still flat. We're still flat, 28.8. We're still flat, 28.8. Hey, hey, sorry about that. Sorry, guys. Yeah, 28.3, 29, 29.5. 30, I saw 30 for one second, 30 again, 30.1, 30.2, and she can do 30 miles an hour on a slight downhill. Yeah, yeah, she can do 30 miles an hour down a slight downhill. All right, so now let's play all the games here. Let's see what she does in PAS zero, nothing. You, PAS zero is pedal yourself. <laughs> PAS one right there, PAS one, pedaling, 9.6 PAS2 pedaling is uh, 13 14 14.2 PAS3 we'll wait we'll get by the dogs all right so in had to stop and talk to some neighbors and PAS3 it is uh 20 miles an hour, 20 point, 21 miles an hour. PAS4. Uh, there's no ghost pedaling as of yet. I'm doing 25, 26, almost 26. And then PAS5. PAS5, we're doing. Wow, it's fast. I am definitely on flat ground. We're doing 29.2.3.5. We'll get to, the, yeah, over 30 miles an hour. Well, pedaling, guys, we're going to try that again. Uh, I did not know it was as fast as it is pedaling, so we'll go back downhill and see how fast it is pedaling. 
because you do not lose uh you do not ghost pedal all right we're gonna come past the uh camera right now 27 There's no ghost pedaling, guys. I'm burning my legs up. <laughs> 28 8. Trying it one more time. 30. Thirty point seven. And uh going fast enough. It uh Wore my legs out. Yeah. Now, this comes with an app too. I don't have the app downloaded to my phone yet, uh, but up here we have the battery indicator, how long we've ridden, thanks, uh, 51.7 volts, so it's showing battery and voltage. That's nice speed distance uh, miles then you can hit like this button change stuff here I haven't got into all that I will go in detail over the the uh, display uh, in one of my future videos but this bike this bike got it going on guys this is a nice bike now I'm going to try to seat post. Yep, I drop it, the dropper seat post. I'll try that as we come by the uh, the camera, just to show you what it's like. So right now, as I come by the 3D camera or the yeah the camera, we're going to lift the post up, and then when I come back by it, I'll set it down. So now as I come back by it, as I come back by, there it goes, up and down. So the unique thing about the dropper post is it, uh, it's solid, it, it, it doesn't give you extra uh, suspension or anything, so, but it's very cool. Oh, we want to test what this little button is. Is this a... This auto button, is that a speed control? Let's go, let's uh, reduce down to two. We'll hit auto, and sure enough, that button is cruise control. So it's not reading anything. Then it drops th this. Like I said, I don't understand this yet, but uh, it drops it to zero for some reason. Interesting. Unless the auto is for the connecting of the Bluetooth or something, I don't know. But that auto button is interesting. Uh, it has double locking hand grips here, thumb throttle here, uh, shifter here, over here. This is the seat dropper, uh, lights, horn. Uh, and then your display changing here and your display here. Uh, this is a nice bike. And I do have a little bit of a forward lean to it. Uh, it's very balanced. Like that, see it's balanced. And uh, I guess if I was going at a faster speed it would feel more balanced. So let's do that. There we go. And that's how balanced it is, guys. I'm not a hand, no hands guy, but this is a balanced, very balanced bike. And uh, the lean is a little bit forward, not too bad. Uh, I could ride this bike a while like this, but I still think I prefer 
Uh, oh, I'm, I'm high on the seat. Let's lower the seat a little bit. There we go. That's about my style. That would not be hard to ride all day long like that. Again, I wouldn't be pedaling, but uh, if I don't want to pedal, that's a good position right there. Yeah, this is a, this is a great little bike, guys. Uh, the brawn is nice. Now, the other thing we're gonna do, we will, and it's the, these Chow Yang tires, as usual, perform very, very well. Now, we'll go over the bumps. We will uh, make the fork move. Here we go. And we'll go over this bump. Oh, the front end is, is beautiful. That was a beautiful, uh, probably one of the best uh, off the, oh yeah, off the curb bumps I've ever taken. Uh, the, the rebound is great. Uh, it reaches out nicely. Um, and it, it is very nice. Let's go up. Oh man, it's like candy. Now I was going too slow and I had to touch the ground. But, yeah, this is nice. Do it over here. And we'll go up right here. And we'll try this little rock real quick. <laughs> I've never done this because uh, I'm old. But let's try this. Let's see how this works. Probably hurt myself. Oh, it worked. It worked. <laughs> yeah, a little bit crazy on my part, guys, but it worked. It's very nice. Uh, because I had two things, I had the rock and the, and the post, uh, the landscape post, a little tight, but it worked. And I'm sure if you're younger, you'd be a lot better at it than me. All right, guys, there it is. Let's get off. By the way, my inseam is about 30, 29 and a half to 30 and a half, very short. And uh, yeah, I got to be slightly off here. Not bad. Get on and off that way. Again, this bike is not meant for females. Uh, I don't think hardly at all, unless you're a, a six foot female. This bike might be good for you. Maybe a 510 female. A uh, good 34 inch seam would be probably okay for you. But my gosh, what a beautiful bike. All right, even though we're daylight, let's uh, see about turning the light on. There we go. That's the night light. I don't know if we can turn the outer ring on. Nope, on or off right now. So it's seeing the sun, it knows not to turn that outer ring on. So, yeah, beautiful, beautiful bike. All right, hey bike, I'm gonna thank you for it. And we will, uh, we will start doing a bunch of other stuff with it. But what a beautiful ride, look at that guys. Let's see if we can give you a quick full circle of it. the video for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, and subscribe below, and we'll see you on the next episode.